It's time, Tanya Petty, for the second date update. Yay. So, dear Ryan and Sissini, who will be here in just a few days now. Mm-hmm. Very excited. It says, I met her at school. We both go to Cal State Long Beach. We were taking summer classes. A friend introduced us, and we went out a few times. We were dating. We must have gone out five to seven times, depending on what counts as dating. I mean, to me, five to seven times dating. For sure. Right? I mean, maybe you're seeing other people, but five's a lot. Seven's a lot. So then he goes on to say, then out of the blue, she stopped returning my texts, my calls, everything. I've been ghosted. What happened? Strange. Did he do something? I mean, I can only think like he did something. Although, even if you did something wrong, you think if you've been out with somebody that many times, you should say why you're not seeing them. Of course. You know? Just out of respect. Andy... Uh, thanks for writing to us, Andy. I just read your email to everybody, bro. Thanks for coming on. It's it's just weird. I mean, did you offend? I always go to that place. Did you offend her or something? Like, uh, no, no, I no. We went out like five, six, seven times. Like we were we were dating, and like if I at that point, I feel like if I had something said something that offended her, she would have told me. You know. I mean, five to seven times, then to just ghost you is rude. I don't know what explanation justifies that. That's why I'm calling. I get it. Were you seeing other people at the same time? Was she? Mm. Uh, I can't speak for her, but I, uh, I'll say no on my end. Okay. But you guys didn't have that conversation, which is like, well, should we see no one else? No, we didn't have that yet. Okay. Mm. But you're to me at seven... I'm just thinking, Tanya. Yeah. At seven, seven dates. Yeah. You're definitely that, bringing it up. It would be the yeah. point where I, I would start thinking about having to... We, I mean, we were there. Right. Well, here's what we're going to do. What a great place to be. Seven dates? Mm-hmm. Is it? Yeah. Well, clearly not. Yes. <laughs> because she's calling <laughs> us if she just disappeared. Yeah. It's been better. So we're going to call her next. It's a little strange how this is going to work, if you don't mind, Annie. We're actually going to put you on the line, have you be quiet, then we're going to call her on the air and just straightforward ask her questions about what happened and why she's disappeared on you. But she will not know you're on the phone. Okay. So hold tight. We'll do that next. Andy writes to us, hey, I've been gone out with this girl five, seven times, Cal State Long Beach, summer classes, it's where... They go mm-hmm. five, seven times. They go out. Things are great and things, everything's fine. And then she completely disappears. Does not return his texts or anything. Completely disappears. So weird. Especially five to seven dates in. So, Andy, I'm going to call right now. Stay quiet. Let me f- see what I can find out, okay? Okay. Hello? Hi. Hello. Is Marie there? Yes, this is she. Oh, hi, Marie. It is Ryan Seacrest and Tanya and Patty. Hey, Marie. Calling you on 102.7 Kiss FM. Just need you to know you're on the air. Okay. Hi, guys. How are you? How are you? Are you? Good. Well, we're just calling. Uh, we do a, a mar- promotional campaign where we often call listeners or potential <laughs> listeners. Mm-hmm. So you're one of our calls today. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, and also, we, we want to ask you about, did you go out with someone named Andy? Uh, yeah, a while ago. Got it. Okay. Well, we usually get to know our listeners mm-hmm. by finding out some, some things. And so you're single? Um, at the moment, yes. I'm, I'm actively dating, but technically single. <laughs> Got it. Of course. I like right? that. Actively and, dating, technically single. And do you work? Um, yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. What, what do you do for work? Uh, we're at a restaurant. Restaurant. We like to just get some profile information on our listeners. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and still, and still technically in school, so I like work oh, part time, kind of while I'm in school. Just making my notes. Mm-hmm. I'm taking summer classes now, so it's like, yeah, oh, is that my, right? and my summer's busy. <laughs> what do you want to do? What are you trying to get a degree in? Um, I mean, I'd like to ideally go to nursing school, but that's a little bit like far down the line. I'm just. Oh, that's great. Um, oh yeah. That's yeah, a very well, towards that. That's great. Well, I'm glad you're on your path. So we've made a profile, and I'm just curious. You said you dated this guy Andy a while back, and why didn't it go any further? Um. Well, we were dating, um, and we got honestly. It was 
it was going pretty well. I mean, we'd gone out about like six or seven times. Um, this was back in May when it started. A friend of uh, a mutual friend introduced us. Okay. And um, honestly, I um, I like to introduce like whoever I'm dating to uh, friends of mine. And I went out and I introduced him to my friend Jackie. And Jackie honestly told me something that. I, I just couldn't really shake, which was that she just said you could do better. Um, and she's a friend of mine whose opinion I trust all the time. And when I heard that, it just kind of set this idea in me where, you know, the next time I saw him, I was like, oh, yeah, I guess maybe I could do better. She just oh, no. you know, fired really? me. Thought, so he didn't do like, anything. She just had this opinion and judgment, and you felt like maybe she's right. I mean, I trust her. And, I was, and like, sometimes, you know, you can't really see things until somebody else points them out. And when sure. she said that, the next time we went out, I was kind of like thinking about what she said. And I was like, yeah, you know what? Maybe I can. And so it just felt natural to be like, let's end this. And I can, you know, I should look elsewhere for somebody who you didn't it. end it. Oh. You just uh, so, talking to sorry, me. Marie, well, Andy is on the phone right now, actually. He's oh. listening to this. And oh, hi. He's, he's one of the, he's how we have your number. Uh, so, I mean, Andy, you just heard that. And, Marie, why, if you could do whatever the reason, why didn't you just tell him? He said you didn't tell him. Sorry. I, I just, I mean, it's nothing personal. It's just, I, I got a vibe and, you know, I just don't think that we're meant to meet to be. I think you're, you know, a great guy and somebody, you know, I'm sure you'll make someone very happy. It just, you know, I, I just had a feeling. I can't really explain it, but it's one of those things where I just need to focus on what's right for me. And I just don't think that you and I mesh well and that there's anything long term there. I'm pretty sure all of that is BS and you're not getting a vibe. You're just letting your friends control your life and tell you what to do because we were having a great time until she said whatever she said and now all of a sudden you're like, eh, maybe this guy isn't what I want with my life even though you were having a good time before that. I hate to say I agree with him. I mean, I understand that we had a good time but her and I have been friends for many years and you know it's it's just something like I want to be able to date somebody who I feel I like can get along with my friends and who fits in my world already as it is and you know you I'm and I may not have happened. dating Jackie I'm dating you I don't care if she thinks that I could be better it's what you think and if you can't have a real thought without Jackie telling you then I don't think maybe I don't want to date you either well, to be honest, the way you're acting right now kind of justifies everything that she was saying. And so if my friends are important to me, and if you can't accept my friends for who they are and respect my relationships that I've worked on for years, then clearly this isn't the right fit. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. You're right. Well, Mom, Mom. I totally agree. This is not the right fit. And... um but Marie, you need to not listen to your friends like that. Honestly, I'm going to listen to my friends over some guy that I've known and gone out with five times. We've been together. No, you're not listening just- to her over me. You're listening to her over yourself. Yeah, that's Andy. Good point. Yeah, but guys, this isn't going to work no matter what the reason okay, right now. True, true, so true. we can go in circles until Friday at happy hour, but it's not going to happen. Um, and Marie, we are calling our listeners, and we'll hope that you listen. It's 102.7 FM and iHeartRadio on the App Store. Yeah, thank you. All Sorry, right, but, guys. <laughs> listen, it's, uh, it's fine, but we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. And Hi. Andy? Yeah. Hi. Um, Hi. I think that... For whatever reason, it's not going to work out. But, you know, her friend got in her ear. I don't know if her friend's jealous. Yeah, that's I mean, a thing. That's I mean, what makes me so sad. Part of me thinks if Jackie... What if Jackie's single? Is she single and she doesn't have a boyfriend? She still wants her wing woman? Like, mm-hmm. there's a lot that could be going into that. But I really liked Marie. I did. She seemed very nice and accessible. Yeah, that makes me feel better. Yeah, well, I'm I'm, I'm saying I liked her. Like, I don't think she's a bad person. I think your judgment was right. Mm-hmm. But it just... It's not going to... You can just tell it's not meant to be. Right. All right. All right. Okay, well, good luck, bro. Thank you very much for reaching out. Bye. The one thing that she said that kills me. What? I hate it. What is that? <laughs> it's, I'm sure you'll make someone happy. 
I mean, come on. Like, I was hoping that'd be you. Like, I was kind of hoping that that'd be you that I was making going to make happy. No, I have a girlfriend, Shayna. I mean, Tanya. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Tubbs, phone lines are going to crash.